Hello, my name is Scott Middlebrooks. I work here at ASML in the research department. And for today's whiteboard session, I'll be answering the question, what is the Rayleigh criterion? Lord Rayleigh was a Nobel winning physicist who worked in the late 19th and early 20th century. And his uh, theory on the resolving power of microscopes yields an equation that both constrains and drives ASML today. This equation is quite simple, and it is basically the critical dimension, which is the size of the feature that we're going to image, is equal to some prefactor times the wavelength of light divided by the numerical aperture of our system. Now, CD is basically the size of our feature. Now, we want this to be small because the smaller this is, the more functionality we can pack, we can cram into an area on a device. Now, what can we use to make these smaller? Well, there's a couple of knobs here. The biggest knob is the wavelength of light. 30 years ago, the wavelength of light that we used to image the systems was about 450 nanometers. Today, it's about 13.5 with our EUV system. So the wavelength of light is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller to eke out performance from this equation. The other knob here is this NA. It's the numerical aperture. And if you're a photographer, you know what this is. It's basically how much information your lens can collect. It's the angle of information that the lens can collect. So if we can increase this NA, we can get more information into our lenses, more light into our mirrors, such that we can make the resolving power much greater. The last knob is this K1, and it includes a lot of effects. It includes optical proximity effects. We can control the resist chemistry. We can control the bake temperature of our scanners. This is just a collection of other things that we can use to drive our features to be smaller and smaller. And so with that, this is what Rayleigh Criterion is. If you'd like to learn more, please follow us. And if you have any questions, please post them below.